Genesis chapter 11. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech, and as they traveled from east, they found a plain in the land of Shinar. And they lived there, and they said to one another, Come, let us make brick and burn them thoroughly. And they had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build a city and a tower with its top in the heavens, and let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered upon the face of the whole earth. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men had built. And the Lord said, Behold, the people is one, and they all have one language. And this they began to do. And now nothing which they have imagined to do will be restrained from them. Come, let us go down and confuse their language, so that they cannot understand one another's speech. And so the Lord scattered them abroad from that place upon the face of all the earth, and they quit building the city. Therefore the name of it is called Babel, because the Lord confused the language of all the earth there, and the Lord scattered them abroad upon the face of all the earth from that place. Now these are the generations of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old and fathered Arpachshad two years after the flood. And after he fathered Arpachshad, Shem lived five hundred years, and he fathered sons and daughters. And Arpachshad lived 35 years and fathered Selah. And after he fathered Selah, Arpachshad lived 403 years and he fathered sons and daughters. And Selah lived 30 years and fathered Eber. And after he fathered Eber, Salah lived 403 years and he fathered sons and daughters. And Eba lived 34 years and fathered Peleg. And after he fathered Peleg, Eber lived 430 years, and he fathered sons and daughters. And Peleg lived 30 years and fathered Riu. And he fathered Riu. Afterwards, he lived 209 years and fathered sons and daughters. And Riu lived 32 years and fathered Sirug. And after he fathered Sirug, Riu lived 207 years, and he fathered sons and daughters. And Serug lived thirty years, and fathered Nahor. And after he fathered Nahor, Serug lived two hundred years, and he fathered sons and daughters. And Nahor lived twenty-nine years, and fathered Terah. And after he fathered Terah, Nahor lived a hundred and nineteen years, and he fathered sons and daughters. And Terah lived seventy years, and fathered Abram. Also Nahor and Haran. Now these are the generations of Terah. Terah fathered Abraham, Nahor, and Haran. And Haran fathered Lot. And Haran died before his father Terah in the land of his birth in Ur of the Chaldees. And Abram and Nahor took wives for themselves. And the name of Abraham's wife was Sarai. And the name of Nahor's wife was Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarah was barren, she had no child, and Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran his son's son, and Sarah his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife, and he went forth with them from Ur of the Chaldees to go into the land of Canaan. And they came to Haran and lived there. And the days of Terah were two hundred and five years, and Terah died in Haran.